Hey guys, Lorena Maganu here with New Filmmakers Los Angeles. Today, I'm talking to director John Irwin about his new film, Sold. Let's take a look at a clip from the film. So, nothing. So, Sold is about a young investigative reporter who is um, investigating the treatment of illegal immigrants in Los Angeles. And so she goes undercover, or she wants to go undercover to kind of, I guess, look into that. And in the process, she gets kidnapped by a human trafficking ring. Um, and uh, so most of the story is takes place in the trunk of a car. And we're sort of through flashbacks, we're figuring out how she got there, and then her eventual, like how she escapes. How did you come up with the concept behind this film? I stumbled on the, the topic of human trafficking and was shocked about how big it is and how little people have talked about it. And so I, I wanted to do a thriller anyway. And so I sort of started looking more into human trafficking and sort of that's where the story came from. Why did you choose to set it in the Latino community? I think probably because I'm, I live in LA, and so I saw, I knew that that, that sort of stuff is happening here now, and uh, I think that's probably why I, I sort of leaned towards it. And I know there's a huge Latino acting community here, and so uh, I think that that's kind of where where I went went to. How has your film been received? I mean, the feedback has been really good, and it. It feels good too, also just as far as raising public awareness about human trafficking. Even though it's a fictional story, it's based on a lot of true events. And a lot of people after screenings have come up to me and said they'd never heard of human trafficking. And, and even asking me questions kind of confused about, uh, you know, like were the girls prostitutes in the film because they, they didn't know anything about how, you know, a lot of women don't volunteer to, you know, do that kind of stuff. So. Uh, so it's, it's been good. What were some of the challenges that you faced? We squeezed it in a three-day shoot, and um, especially on the last day, it was all outside. And so we were um, literally, literally when, the, well, there was a huge mountain. And at the end of the day, when the sun line was like, you know, going across the ground, we would would shoot a take, and then we would have to move the crew, you know, 10 feet past the sun line to shoot it again. And it was like racing, because it was one of the most important shots, and it was like, let's go together, move, move, and the sun was just kept moving. So yeah, it was, it was hard to rush everything in on the little budget we had.